Hey everybody, it's Norm from Tested. I'm here at DesignerCon 2017. Of course, this is the perfect place to run into Jason Freeney. Jason, how are you doing? I'm doing good. It's been a long time. Yes. Now, for those of you who are longtime viewers, uh, we actually visited Jason's home. What was it? Maybe like four years ago. It was. It was a while so. ago. Yeah. It was uh, still. It was before all this toy stuff happened. Yes. And you. You uh, in in New York. Mm -hmm. And uh, you're a sculptor. People obviously recognize your work in magazines, on websites. They get very viral very quickly. Yes. Anatomical figurines and sculptures. And uh, for the past couple of years now, more recently, you've been working with Mighty Jacks. Yes. And uh, we have some of your stuff here. So um, things like. You know, the Lego, right? Mm -hmm. This is the, the bigger micro anatomic, is that correct? correct right? Mm -hmm. Like this is influenced by your original anatomic sculpture. Right. I mean I did I probably did four or five different Lego characters. Uh, this one I like it most because it is an, an enlargement of the very, very tiny one that I did. Yes. Uh, I've done ones that had, you know, more human bones. I've done mm -hmm. ones that have the actual Lego skeleton in it. Uh, but this was uh, my favorite, and we have blown it up. Wow! Oh, and, and when product development goes into this, like when you collaborate with the company, like to, to mass manufacture these things, um, what's that collaboration like? Like, do you send them like the, the sculptures you have? They're gone already. You have right. photos, but like collectors have them. It all depends. Sometimes we can move straight from one of my sculptures into an actual toy, where we will 3D scan it, mm -hmm. and then bring it into the computer, do all the cleaning up. Um, sometimes we'll just go straight to 3D modeling oh, okay. where we can take a character and sketch it out and build it that way. The sculpts take you know, weeks and weeks and weeks to, to do and we can do a computer model much quicker now. Right. So uh, it's much more efficient to jump right in and do the 3D model from the, from the get-go. I still do my, my sculpts but it's a much slower process so and I remember when I chatted with you back then, you were, yes, you were riffing on some existing, like, uh, characters, mm -hmm. right? You know, whether it's, you know, Mickey Mouse or a, a character from Monsters, Inc., but you're also developing your own ideas. Sure. And something like the Foo Dogs here, you know, they're just iconic, you know, mythological characters. Right. Right? So there, was this something that was, uh, you originally had sculpted a toy out no, of? No, this, this was, this is an example of where we went straight to 3D modeling. Mm. And because I work with uh, Mighty Jacks, they're based out of Singapore, um, they have a lot of uh, Asian, uh, you know, uh, traditional mythological characters and things yeah. like that. So the Foo Dogs were, uh, you know, a, a, a fantastic idea to kind of run with. We saw the ivory ones that Adam picked up. He right. has them in his collection at New York Comic Con, but I'd never seen this, this bronze one. The patina mm -hmm. is so nice. Yeah, no, these came out fantastic. Mighty Jacks really takes, once it goes to the 3D model part of it, mm -hmm. Mighty Jacks takes these things and runs with them, and they did a beautiful job. So in terms of direction and feedback and collaboration, do you tell them to model it as if it was something you sculpted and not to go with something that you couldn't sculpt or not too crazy? Well, yes, but with the fact that we can go into computer modeling, we can get some more detail, we can mm. get some more... Um, when, when I do toys, I like to design the anatomy inside the toy as if it were part of the toy. Right. So as you can see, like here with the Lego, you know, the, the, the skeleton is very simplified, like a Lego. Right. Um, you know, and when you have like the Foo Dogs, you know, the, 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 the anatomy is more organic and more realistic like the actual food dog. So I like to match up the anatomy with the character. Mm. And in terms of characters, you actually have licenses now, right? Yep. Like DC, Batman, Superman, you have basically the entire Justice League and the villains. And the direction for this is interesting because they're a little bit like the proportions are, are a little cartoony. Right. Well, the, the styling of it uh, because of, you know, uh, licensing and dealing with DC, you know, we had to kind of go with the styling of it. I couldn't use the uh, traditional Batman uh, character. So we've come up with a styling for this XX Ray line. Oh. Um, and, and I will say, when I first started doing all this, uh, you know, I was inspired by things like uh, the Visible Man. Yes. The and man. Do you remember there was a, a Visible Vixen? I don't. Oh, I gotta is, get I, my. I, yeah, if you I have a visible it. man, but I think it's a more, a more of a recent uh, production ah, of it. Okay. So I, I guess I gotta get one of those. Yeah. But when I originally started, that's really kind of what inspired all of it, and so my whole goal from the beginning was like that would be like the ultimate. Can we do a, 
Invisible Man of licensed characters. Yeah. And so when Mighty Jacks and I teamed up, they had the ability and the financial power mm -hmm. to go out and get these licenses. Yeah. So this is basically the culmination of what it is that I've always wanted to do, and we have uh, a full anatomy of Batman here. Uh, you know, it's, it, it all comes apart. You know, and then it you know clamshells back together just like you know the Visible Man yep. did. We have some more of these in production. These things take a while, as far as engineering goes, having the pieces fit inside the pieces and etc. But um, this is this is kind of like my dream come true. So there's a lot of work like that you got to do that's in terms of like product development now. It's not just sculpting sure. uh, custom one-off pieces, but do you have time for custom one-off pieces? What are you working on these I things? I do, I still do my custom one-off pieces. Mighty Jacks, I've been working with them for two and a half years now. They kind of get what it is that I do, and a lot of them they can kind of just you know, do a model of it and be like, how is this? And I'd be mm -hmm. like, you know, or I'll go in, I'll be like, oh, you can soften that up a little bit, make right. it more like the character, or, or I wouldn't have done that, you know, et cetera, like that. But Mighty Jack's really, we, we've kind of fused into this anatomical machine, yep. anatomical toy machine. So. Yeah. And one-off pieces, are you just tinkering on your own? Do you still do shows? No, I or? still do them. I just had a show in Tokyo, yeah. and the response was, best show I've had, amazing, I think, Three quarters of the show sold out. Um, I loved Tokyo, of course. It's always been a dream to go mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. uh, but I still do my pieces. It's just you know they take their time five consuming. weeks, six weeks, yeah. seven weeks, depending on what it is. So oh, but I still do them. Toys or characters in the future that you can tease that you're thinking about wanting to do sculptures on. I have I have a lot of artists that I like who who make toys, and there's going to be some collaborations going oh, on. Um, we, you know, I, like I said, we have some more uh, DC characters mm -hmm. that we're moving into. We're also, I want to get back into doing, uh, you know, like my, my 2D art, but it's yeah. all going to be very much toy and anatomy uh, uh, oriented. So teaming up with Mighty Jax has really given me the opportunity that I can now do the art and be the artist that I always wanted to be. It's kind of, it's been a big relief, and you know, teaming fan. up with them. For the collectors, for people like me, right, right, who'd fallen work for a long time, right, the one-offs, they're not in my price range, but yeah. when like something, I couldn't afford my own work. <laughs> <laughs> but when they pop up, and and this is totally attainable, yeah. and it is a, has that direct lineage mm -hmm. from the work I love, sure. the work you do, that it's so awesome, Thank Jason. You. Thank you. It's such so it's just so great to see you. It's good to see you again too, yeah. man. Yeah, it's good yeah. to see you. It's, you and it's good show. to see tested you know, grow up to way the way that it is as well. Yes, so. yeah. It's a long Thanks. way from my garage. Yes, yes, but we all started there. We all right. started in our garages. <laughs> all right, have, hope you have a great show. Thank you. Yeah, and thanks guys for watching. Thank you.